we are at the Goodwill down the street from our house. It is a beautiful Monday morning, very cold. See my breath, I think it's like 30 degrees. We're gonna go here so we can find a flip online for a profit. Dang, these things are like in good condition. Ugh, plush, are these, are these real? I have to look up the code on the inside. Because if so, that's actually a pretty good deal. They're still uh, here, so $6.99. So I'll take a look. These things are faked a lot, and they don't... I thought they had, like, Australia or something in the back. I forget. But I'll definitely have to take a look at these. But that ain't too bad if they're real for 6 bucks. Probably go for 30 or 40 What else? They got her. All right, a couple of videos ago, we were out at another Goodwill. Like, probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes away from here. There was this same box of Vans. Now, they went at $9.99 for it. Remember, there were white shoes that were dirty. Are these the white shoes? Do they just switch stuff around Goodwills? Oh no, these are different. Hey Vans. Actually, we'll look these up. These are, uh, got little skulls on them. Slightly dirty. But some Vans can still be worth some decent money. And it has the original box. Is that the box? Yeah. They're called Love You to Death. Ugh, I don't know about that. Don't love me to death. Just, just love is good. No death. Let's go see what Kayla found. It's always funny talking to myself in the store because people just stare at me. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey. They're like new. Where did come from? They were sitting on the shelf. Man. I have to I make sure those. that they're real. And then I'll see what this is. They're kind of dirty, but they're like suede. Be hard to clean, but some of those vans can go for decent money. I have to scan it. Usually don't find them with the uh, with the box. What did you find? Um, I gotta look up this stuff. So Wizard of Oz keeps it. Ooh. And then this is made in Italy. Ooh. It's like a lacquered board. Yeah. Lacquered. Uh... And then look at this thing. Probably nothing. It doesn't have any maker's mark on it. Hmm. It's not like metal. It's like some sort of resin. Ah, oh, that looks like. That looks like Pottery Barn to me. Pottery Barn? Yeah, but it could not be Pottery Barn. It might be uh, Ming Dynasty or the Jurassic period. Like this guy. Look, he's from the Jurassic period. Yeah. I mean, China. No good bags? There's a ton of them over here. Well, I just really got over here. You got over here? Let's take a gander. Let's see what we're working with. There's a lily. Ah, uh, lily bloom ain't that good. I mean, it's good, but it's gotta be the right print and like pristine. Like this one's all messed up right there, right? It's gotta be super, super nice. We are really into the purses nowadays because we didn't realize how much money was in these things, right? Sometimes you find a quarter, sometimes you find a nickel in the pockets. This whole thing is leather. What is this? This entire thing. Liz Claiborne leather. Oh, it's all beat up. The strap's disgusting. We've sold Liz Claiborne before. Eight dollars. Oh, it's like a waterproof bag from Kenneth Cole, yeah. I don't think it's worth eight. We might look it up. Is that Gucci? Everybody at the, uh, not everybody, but a lot of people were like, that was a real Gucci, uh, no, Mickey, Mickey belt from the storage unit. That was the fakest Gucci I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Interface, that's a, that is terrible. This is made from carpet. Isn't that like a rug? Yeah. I don't know about that, people are, that's a carpet, 100%. All right, when you're always like just looking around, always pay attention to symbols. I knew that was the Ratko symbol right there and it says Christopher Ratko. It says it's a St. Nicholas uh, candle holder. There ain't nothing in it. Really? Now it's on the hunt for a St. Nicholas candle holder. Why would you? Is that? No. Would that be it? I don't see you being a candle holder. No, that's not it. Really? Alright, y'all see a St. Nicholas candle holder from Christopher Ratko over here? Is that it right there? It's 
is it a, not a candle holder. This is would not be a candle holder. It's gotta be big. It's gotta be looking me in the face if it's here or somebody stole it. Help me understand what happened to that. Unless somebody took it out of the box and the other person bought it. And they hit. I'm not seeing it. <clears throat> Made access to the case. Oh, these are $8.99. Man, those books are nice. What size are they? Size 10. Brooks are expensive. That's $8.99. $49. It's in right there. Is that pre owned? Yeah, these actually look like they sell for about 40 50 bucks used. So we'll take those for $8. What are these back here? Oh, Timberlands. $15. Mm. I'm not seeing that. That had to be like a $45 shoe. Clean. It's got a lot of wear back there. Those, that's not good. These spoons are cool. Not worth 20 bucks. What is this thing? Eight dollars. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like stones. It's pretty neat. Bill. Built tough. Built for tough. Yeah, I think, uh, oh, look, Pinehurst. Check that out. Remember we stopped in Pinehurst? It's brand new. It still has the uh, $22 tag on it. They're asking $10 for it. If it didn't have that tag, they probably would just ask 50 cents. Um, these were in the case for nine bucks. They, they sell used for like 50. So that ain't too bad. Is it a brewmate? Yeah, I was gonna look it up and see. It's a good color. Why is it like a wine looking? Doesn't that look like a wine bottle? That's what it is. Hmm. Interesting. Not a whole bunch of that goodwill, but you did get the Wizard of Oz. I didn't see you. How much does that go for? Probably like 10 bucks? Yep. $10, which ain't bad. A pair of Uggs right here, probably going to go for like maybe 30 or 40 because they're in really good condition. They still have the, the back little sticker thing, so that doesn't look like they've been worn at all. And then these Brooks are my size. <laughs> these are looking like they're in really good condition, but they go for about 50 bucks, so we'll, we'll sell them. Uh, Brooks are good running shoe. We don't find them a lot anymore for some reason, but they are decent. And those were $8.99. These were $8.99. Yeah, they were out actually up in the glass, so they did go up two bucks. And this was $1.99. That was $1.99, and these were $6.99. So what was it, like 18 bucks altogether? Yeah. And then I'm thinking maybe 50, 30, so it's 80, 90, 90 bucks. On to the next. That's a big old sack root. Oh, uh, it's all jacked up right there. That's the worst thing about like leather. Oh, it's like falling apart, falling apart. But that's the worst thing about some of that fake leather. All it does is just fall apart. Three dollars. That's ridiculous. <laughs> think it's worth three bucks? Probably not. What is that? No. Whole bunch of Vera Bradleys back there. They still haven't sold. No, that's a fake Vera Bradley. That's no way that's real. You can just tell, you know, by the way it is, that it's fake. This one looks, feels real. They know. Check this thing out. Is that thing booth worthy? It's, uh, it's like not real. Never mind. I thought that was real, uh, that's like sweet cool grass. It is very cool looking. What's six bucks for it though? And also people from the apple country said, do not put apples in a bowl. They go in a refrigerator. That's the word on the street. Are you an apple in a bowl person or an apple in the refrigerator person? Apples do taste better cold. They do taste better cold, I will tell you that. It doesn't matter because we buy them anyway and then we just sit them in a bowl and they, we don't eat them. <laughs> we just look at them. <laughs> we just look at them. We probably just need fake apples. <laughs> what is that? Coral bowl. Coral bowl. Kirkland's thirty dollars. Whoa! Not for food, so you don't put your apples in that $6. thing. Six dollars. Six doll hairs. That's uh, that's rough. What is that thing? Is that a funnel? 
bro, what type of funnel is this? What am I working with here? No. Outdoor filters out. Food products keep oh it's a funnel for oh that would actually be is it used? Yeah. Use that for like oil. Um when we fry turkeys, we actually just get a big funnel that we use with motor oil and uh put cheesecloth in it. It works just as good. Just the next time it tastes a little bit like you know 10w30, but it works out. Me and me and dad ain't never got sick yet. What you got in your cart? Something for myself. Something for yourself. Hey, make a sometimes you need to get that. Is that a pinball machine, like a working one? Oh, it's broken at the bottom. Oh, well, no, I guess it's... Wait a second. Oh, I thought this was glass. This is like a, yeah, four bucks. I thought that thing was glass. Still looking for a game for whatnot that we can play or something. There ain't no way. What are you putting in this? I could put you in this. Put you, in that. you could definitely fit in there. I could wheel <laughs> you around because it's on wheels. Look. Pretty cool. I guess. What would, you, what would you need to take in there? Something huge. I have no idea. Not much of that Goodwill, but I have a really good feeling about the next Goodwill. So we got a couple more that we're going to go to to try to find some profit for today. <laughs> that the old hat bin. I got some cool looking hats over here. Um, hey, check that one out. The old Stetson. 100% cotton. That thing's actually pretty nice. 99 cents, can't beat that. Are these Stetsons too? Oh, that's a redhead. And a DPC. Yeah. Is that a real Crown Royal? Look at that. Crown Royal Racing. Oh, it's destroyed. I don't know about that one. What else we got here? Vortex. That's a really nice hat. That's a pretty nice hat. That's a, um, a brand. I used to wear that as police for dog training stuff. It's got a little American flag on the back. Cool hat. What's that? A little fluey? Is it a fluey? No, it's oh. a, it's a um... little thing. I'll, I'll do. Let's go take a look at these brand new clothes. Check, is this a good one? Sherpini? It just feels nice. Doesn't it? It does feel nice. I know. Yeah. Got a Stetson hat and a Vortex Ooh. hat. But let's go over here and see the brand new clothes. What did you find? Uh, that thing for whatnot. That thing. And then, and then I found me a brand new pair of pants. Brand new pair of pants. I'm going to try out the, the flare. Oh my goodness. The old flare pants? The old flare pants. They're coming back in style. That's what you say, but okay. I've never okay. seen somebody wear them. Hey, uh, this thing right here is actually pretty cool. It's from the company Guest. And I don't think that this one's going to be worth seven bucks. It's a light that you would hook up to like a joystick. And then inside the cab, this would mount to something or this one might be handheld. We found the chrome ones. They're worth like three, four hundred dollars for like marine. Those aren't. No, this one, I can't, I can't even find this model. So I'll probably have to put that one back but what is this thing for yeah for the chrome, chrome ones. ones this is a i'm guessing some sort of college northwestern because it's from the collegiate is it does it work works like a charm check that out so these are actually super good at these are called garment foods i've never actually heard of them and then they, she put them out right in front of us they're a little beat right here but it still seems like they go and these are the most expensive ones they're they're not all created equal this is the t8n fs 670 regular i don't know about the regular part but the other ones these things new are like 150 to 200 dollars pre-owned they still go for 100 bucks and then i can't leave this behind i put it back and i sat there and socked <laughs> on it and she's got to be bought you know what i'm saying like the brand is so good this is stainless steel this makes me think it goes to a boat i don't there's no possible way I can test this unless I put like a charge to this somehow, like power to these two bolts maybe? I don't know. You found this and put this back. I think it's worth $2 just to research it. Okay. I took a picture of it and one popped up for like $900,000. Oh my goodness. Went on bid. At the last second, Kayla called an audible and saw this really cool thing while she, actually she found it and then she put it back and she was standing in line. I was like, man, that thing looked really cool. And actually I learned this 
what this was from y'all. Uh, we picked up some glass before that was slag glass, and that looks like that what this would be. Maybe we're wrong, maybe we're right. It was only $2, and we found one on eBay called Slag Glass Handkerchief Art, mm -hmm. and it went for 70 bucks. So we're thinking maybe we have no idea. I keep moving in your attention. <laughs> You're trying to take a picture well, of Well, I can. But I think this might be the find of the day. We don't really know. The boots will go for probably for more money than this. But I think this is neat. And also, it's got a, like a, a thing inside. I don't know what that is. Looks like somebody tried to put a candle a in it. A candle in it or something? I don't know if that gets removed. Uh, but we think that's a really cool find. So what we're going to do is go to a Salvation Army. Then we got to go to the booth. We are out at our booth. And there was a misconception on one of our videos that we had a booth in Goodwill. That's not true. We have it at the Bounty Hunters Emporium down here in Surfside Beach in the Piggly Wiggly parking lot. If you guys want to come check it out, we're gonna go in here, see what's sold, and maybe we had some visitors. All right, we have sold some stuff. We sold the big vase, which was nice, right? Yeah. And then the mermaid. And I can't believe these haven't sold yet. These things are the cutest things. Did we got them 15 bucks. Get you a nice little crock pot. See, we have some people that did sign the book, so we'll go over that in a second. None of my little guns are selling. I'm surprised about that. Did you take a picture? Yes. Pictures are worth a thousand words. Oh, you definitely sold some um, purses. Oh, yeah. 100% sold some purses because that was like four or five purses sitting there. This one might go on whatnot. Yeah. Honestly, I say we take that one to whatnot. We had some people show up. We had uh, Janice and Scott. You know that? I do. Who are they? That's my mom and dad. Your mom and dad came by. And uh, also we had another Scott and Janet come by from Fayetteville, North Carolina. He also bought our 31 bag, so we much appreciate it. And also Kat came by again and got her some cozies. And these things right here are going fast. We actually have, I think, only this much left and a couple on Etsy, right? There's no, they're on whatnot. They are on Etsy as well. Okay, they're on Etsy and whatnot and here. But that's exclusive because it's the only place you can get them. So that ain't too bad. And we actually also sold uh, the big vase thing. I think it was like 47 bucks, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That was a good sale. And we sold a couple purses. But we need to fill this thing up because it's actually kind of hard to keep it filled, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go get some more stuff and stock her up again. So not a horrible day thrifting. The thing is, is that a lot of day thrifting now down here and I think a lot of places across everywhere in america uh you have more days like this where i mean we did the thing is we still made good profit i mean you got a hundred dollar pair of used boots that sliding glass thing we actually found another one that looks just like that one for like maybe 30 bucks the stetson hat so you probably made a couple hundred bucks but to rely on that as a full-time uh, like reseller very very difficult nowadays like four years ago five years ago in the goodwill totally different and um we could make a lot more money now storage units help us out yard sales estate sales we do all of that and also right now we're actually at our storage unit as you can tell and uh, we have to go in and pull some orders if you want to know stuff like what we sell we get a lot of those questions too on this channel we have another channel called the flip squad that is where we actually show you what we sell when we sell it how much it sells for a day in the life of stuff how we list things, how we clean things. That's all on the other channel. This channel is just about thrifting and finding the cool stuff. So we do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, you know I will always get you on the next one.